Tuesday, November 30th, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News. An early morning house fire in Fairhaven displaced all the residents and unfortunately killed a large pet snake. And there's a pretty sweet story coming out of Science today. It's, uh, it's a pretty big article. I, you know, I'm not going to go through, hit every detail, but um, anyway. Some Canadian and British scientists studying reptiles and uh, the past, obviously, because that's what scientists do, um, have determined that an early collapse of the rainforest due to climate change is what caused such a large biodiversity in the reptile world. They're saying that uh, with the climate change and the breakdown of the rainforest creating other habitats where there used to be rainforest, forced these reptiles to evolve to those new habitats and thus lending to the biodiversity that in part we see today. Now this is this this is pretty neat news to me because it with everything we're facing today with global warming and the world is ending in 2012 which I don't believe for the record but um anyway with all this stuff that we're facing there you know science is saying that uh, in history in a period that they're calling the carboniferous I believe it is period which uh, long before dinosaurs even e even uh, made their footprint on earth uh, they're saying that in that period uh, due to global warming and a collapse of the rainforest system caused this uh, biodiversity that we're seeing now. And researchers have announced that snakes who mimic the appearance and attitude of venomous snakes may benefit from doing so. Wait, really? Okay, whatever. I, uh, apparently, uh, similar to like the um, mountain king snake, uh, mimicking the, the color of the coral snake. Um, we all know how to tell the two apart, I hope, but apparently snakes like that don't, uh, you know, I know people, even though coral snakes are not native here in California where we live, but uh, mountain king snakes are. I know people who have frozen from picking one up for a second because they immediately thought that it was a coral snake when they found it um, and of course looked at the uh, color pattern to determine it was not. I also know similar to here in California the, the gopher snakes and the king snakes rattling their tail in the dry leaves to mimic the sound of a rattlesnake. Uh, Okay, yeah, I agree. They probably benefit from that. And the Darwin School apparently had a, a little scare when a student opened up his backpack to get um, his lunch out and found a snake inside there. The backpack was immediately closed by a teacher who brought it to the office and secured it and called a snake remover. The snake remover says, luckily, it looks like just a newborn water python that probably happened to crawl into the bag overnight. And unfortunately, out of Florida, apparently a man has died in an automobile accident after another driver swerved to miss an alligator in the roadway. The Florida Highway Patrol is saying the accident is still under investigation and charges are pending. They don't specify on that whether this uh, other driver was drunk or what. You know, seems like a tragic accident to me, but um, yeah. Charges are pending, so who knows? And unfortunately, last, how many days in a row can we talk about regulations before we just start puking? I mean, seriously, now we're back in Florida again, where Florida is apparently concerned about human health on the because of the exotic wildlife that is being imported into the country. Apparently, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission is planning next year to start trying to find out a way to, could they say control, I say regulate, um, the tagu monitors and the black spiny-tailed iguana, I believe it was. I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, It almost makes you want to give up, almost, you know. It, it's... I don't, a tagu, I've never had one. A monitor, I've never had one. I've seen some little ones, I've seen some big ones. You know, I, I don't know about that. The, the spiny-tailed iguana, though, I have had one. Why the hell would, what the, what? Seriously? Um, you know, that was one of the coolest lizards that I had ever had. And I, I don't know, what's it, it just, it, anybody from Florida, I think there's a few people from Florida, are, are spiny-tailed iguanas a problem there in Florida, honestly? Right now, are they out running around in the wild and uh, eating children and um, flipping over police cars after a basketball game? That wasn't suggestive. And last but not least, we have a couple announcements. Uh, number one, um, I have yet to hear from, from the person about the zoo we spoke about yesterday. 
yesterday, but believe me, as soon as we do, um, you're going to know about it, so that's that's good times, yeah. Uh, number two, a couple of things that I wanted to, I'm not going to start today, I'm going to start tomorrow. Uh, a couple of, of ideas I had, you know, to run by everybody, and one of those is just kind of random information. I talked about it on Facebook a little bit last night, and something on each video, or maybe every other day, once a week, or whatever, just random information. For example, um, just the statement that in 1992 the horned lizard became the Texas uh, official state reptile. So, um, you know, what do you guys think about just a little piece of random, uh, you know, educational, if that's even educational, information um, each day. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to start doing, maybe not. There, there's a whole plethora of information in our world concerning reptiles um, that a lot of people just don't know about, and some of it's some actually some pretty sweet information. It's, uh, you know, surprises me how little I actually know about some of this stuff until I happen to dig it up. But um, anyway, number two, um, I put a section on the website. I also put that on Facebook last night. If you want to check it out, it is the uh, Reptile of the Week. It's not going to be here, but it's a, it's a website only thing. And basically the idea is, is you send in your pictures and information. I'll pick the best one. I'll put it up for the week with the information. And if you have a reptile related website, that you'd like to pimp out or something, we'll put that there too. So um, anyway, yeah, uh, take some pictures, good pictures, send them in. Uh, let me know what you think about the idea too. So um, yeah, anyway, if you would like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.